In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, good morning. Welcome to our Mass on this Thursday. Also, some words of welcome for those who are watching us, the webcam, following this Mass our parish radio and around the world with Shalom World TV. As always, you are very welcome to our parish here in Portlaoise. And brothers and sisters, at the beginning of this Mass, we pause for a moment, we call to mind our sins, so we can prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are sitting right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. On this day, the Church in Ireland, especially our Diocese of Kildare Lachlan, celebrate the memorial of St. Lazarian. We hear more about him later on. And let us pray. God of glory, who revealed to those who search for you with their hearts at mysteries of the heavenly kingdom, grant that intercession of St. Lazarian, that we who seek wisdom in the cross of Christ may find the fullness of life in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer at the court of the Candake, or Queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact her chief treasurer. He was now on his way home, and as he sat in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go up and meet that chariot. When Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, 
Do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this. Like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of its shearers, like these, he never opens his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, Tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting, therefore, with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is some water here. Is there anything to stop me being baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. Then Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water, and Philip baptized him. But after they had come up out of the water, again Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord. And the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip found that he had reached Azotus and continued his journey, proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound, of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with high praise, ready on my tongue. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Lord, who hung for us upon the tree, has risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one can come to me unless that person is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets. They will be taught by God and to hear the teaching of the Father and to learn from it is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. 
Now I tell you most solemnly, everybody who believes has eternal life, and I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, <clears throat> and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a person may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven, and anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. This is the good news of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into love. Dear brothers and sisters, Ireland is renowned around the world because of its Christian heritage. The country is declared a place of saints and scholars. And on this day that we proclaim once again Christ as the bread of life, the Church in Ireland invites us to celebrate the memorial of St. Lazarian as I said at the beginning of this Mass. An incredible man who worked tirelessly to solidify and share the faith that he professed. St. Lazarian is, is a revered figure in early Irish Christianity, valued for his piety, humbleness, intelligence, and devotion. According to tradition, he was born in Ireland in the 6th century into a noble family. From his early years, he revealed a passionate love for God and a deep desire to serve him. Lazarian was sent to Scotland to be educated by monks. He also traveled to Rome, where he was ordained a priest. He then came back to Ireland to preach the gospel in the same way that we heard about Philip the first reading today, explaining the good news to people and bringing them to the Lord. On to the country, Lazarian visited Lachlan and joined there the monastery. Within the monastic community, the religious man flourished, embracing a life of prayer and service. His humility and selfishness impacted his fellow monks who saw in him a true example of Christian virtue. St. Lazarian reputation for holiness is spread far and wide, drawing many people to seek his counseling and guidance. A defining moment in the life of St. Lazarian came when he was appointed abbot of the monastery in Lachlan. He demonstrated unique leadership qualities, guiding his brothers with wisdom compassion, and responsibility. Under his direction, the monastery grew as a center of learning, prayer, hospitality, welcoming pilgrims for near and far. It said that on his time as the abbot, the, mon the, the monastery reached about 1,500 people living there, searching, searching for learning, instructions, guidance, and a true experience of the Christian faith. St. Lazarus' influence extends beyond the, beyond the walls of the monastery. One of his known contributions to the Universal Church was his efforts to unify the dates for the Easter cer ceremonies. Since then, became a, 
a popular practice of celebrating Easter after the full moon that occurs on and after the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere. And he put a lot of effort in bringing together the same date for Easter around the world. Alongside with St. Bridget and St. Conleth, St. Lazarian is a key figure for the Diocese of Kildare and Lachlan. He is remembered as a shining beacon of holiness and a model of Christian discipleship. The life of St. Lazarian is an inspiration to all of us who seek to follow Christ, urging us to embrace the virtues of humility, charity, and zeal for the salvation of people. May we, like St. Lazarian, strive to imitate the love of Christ in all we do, and may his intercession continue to strengthen us and guide the Church on its journey of faith. St. Lazarian, pray for us. St. Lazarian, pray for us. St. Lazarian, pray for us. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me. And brothers and sisters, we bring now to the Lord our prayers and intentions for this day. For the Church, that we may continue to be a beacon of hope to those who are lost or struggling, and that we may always strive to follow the teachings of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. hear us. For those who are sick, that they may be comforted and healed by the love of God, and that their caregivers may be strengthened and encouraged. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all in our Diocese of Kildare and Lechlin, as we celebrate one of our patrons, St. Lazarian. May we see in his example our faith and hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who join us this morning virtually. May you continue to know the presence of God, alive and active in your hearts and in your homes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Now, so brothers and sisters, in the silence also of our hearts, we present, Lord, our personal concerns and intentions for this day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We also pray for some special intentions on this Thursday. We pray for the wedding of Salmiya Babu Paul in India. Night nine birthday blessings for Jeannie Miss Julie in the United States. For the second anniversary blessings, Antonio and Maria Borgia. We also remember those who have died. We pray for Michael McDonald, Lobin Road, his requiem must take place today, 12 noon, here in our church. We remember Phyllis Scullaton. Her requiem must take place today, 12, uh, at 2 p.m., here in the parish church. We pray for Mark, Mark Walsh, Halton Way, Esker Hills, Port Leash, and formerly Mill Road, in Dingan. Requiem must take place tomorrow, Friday, 12 noon, here in our parish church. And those whose anniversary occurred this time of the year, first anniversary of Declan Bergen, 17 Greenville, and formerly Kulhoy, anniversary mass, Michael Kavanagh, Railway Street, Patrick and Kathleen Delaney, James and Catherine Muldoon, St. John's Square, 
Anne McHugh Balibritus, John O'Loughlin Clonard, Madden Neff Ifejuna and all her late relatives, Delis Thomas, 14th anniversary, birthday remembers, Catherine Quigley Rockdale, second birthday away from home, and also birthday remembers for Eleuteria Alcomendras in the Philippines. May they rest in peace, and may their souls and the, the souls, souls of the faithful, faithful departed. departed. Mercy, Mercy of God, God. Rest, rest in peace. peace. Amen. Gracious God, we ask that you send your spirit upon the people of Kildare and Lachlan. Help us to be charitable as in Bridget, as prophetic as in Conleth, and as prayerful as in Lazarian. May we respond to the call of our baptism to use our gifts in the service of each other. May each of us be a living witness to the King of justice and peace. Grant us the courage to follow where you are leading, and with your grace to journey together in faith, hope, and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. I accept the sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered to you, to your glory, in honor of the blessed Lazarian, a means to our eternal salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this, the festival of St. Lazarian, you bid your church rejoice, so to strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created. Right gives you praise, for to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make all these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate his mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks at the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave it thanks said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, I celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven. As you look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death will to reconcile us yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and today with Saint Lazarian and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, all the religious, as well as the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, for there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
and at the Savior's command and form by the divine teaching, we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we have the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. In Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with her will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take you away take the away sins, the of, the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us through Parish Radio, or webcam, and Shalom World TV, we now pray this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I am summon out what I shall be set your seal upon my heart and live in me marked with ashes we have come we the world so troublesome we Christ her some, but you, O oh Lord, take, O oh, take me as I am, summon out what I shall be, set your seal upon my heart and live in me. of God are we, Eden garden round a tree, Eve and Adam, you and me, but you, O oh Lord, take, O oh, take me as I am, summon out what I shall be. upon my heart and live in me. Now we pray by day and night, keep the fast to clear our sight, 
There are goods to set things right, but you alone. Take, oh, take me as I am. Summon out what I shall be. Set your seal upon my heart and live in me. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, O God, is shared up in us, that fire of charity with which blessed Lazarian burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And dear brothers and sisters, thanks all of you to join us for Mass this morning. I wish you a blessed, blessed day. Just a a kind of a short comment uh, at the end of this Mass. The, the history of the early church is really a, a very, very beautiful and wonderful history. And uh, many saints, many saints that I only became aware just because I came to the country, one of them, Lazarian, Conleth, uh, even St. Bridget, St. Kevin, I never heard those names before because they are not popular in the Irish, in Brazilian church. We don't celebrate them in Brazil. And it's really a pleasure, an honor. It's a very, a, a, an inspirational situation to become aware of the life of those men and women. They helped us to be here because they are really the base and the soil of our faith. We must remember them always and we must pray for them that they may continue is parting us in our journey, in our life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Clean.
Mother Mary, Queen of Peace, we invoke you and implore you as our Heavenly Mother, Intercessor, and Patron.